welfare reform is often declared a success. And the reason that we wrote this book, in part, was to look much more carefully at that claim. And what we found is that the policy of reducing caseloads and having single mother families in particular uh, see their primary means of self-sufficiency being in the low-wage labor force did not fulfill the promises that the policy was supposed to provide. When you look at welfare restructuring from the points of views of the people who provided services and the many families affected by those policies, you get a very different perspective on whether the policy was successful. And what we found is many families continue to struggle both with, with the realities of poverty despite working in the low-wage labor force and with a human service delivery system that was a little bit deaf to their, their many needs for uh, child care assistance, for all kinds of assistance to be able to get better jobs than the low-wage jobs that they felt consigned to. I think Oregonians are convinced that we need a state that grows and that's economically vital. One of the things this book demonstrates is that having a strong safety net is not inconsistent with economic growth or the economic vitality of the state. In fact, it's part of what we need in a strong state. is a, is a safety net that can help people when they're in crisis. Uh, are programs that allow people to move up the job ladder through education, training, etc and to have a way of being able to provide the supports to families during tough times, all families.